Hello and welcome to a game that I've played on this channel I don't know how long ago. Three years ago? It feels like something like that. <laughs> Actually it might be three years ago. Yeah, that that that's crazy. Uh, and I played the survival mode stuff, but not the story stuff, because that, that just came out. And I also streamed it one time on Twitch a few weeks back. Uh, I don't really... I'm not very good at this game, I've not played it a lot. Especially not recently, but I really want to get into the story mode thing. Because that's one of the reasons why I picked it up, you know, more than three years ago. So yeah. Very interesting. I'm into mute. Yeah, I'm starting a new story. Episode 1, Do Not Go Chantel. That's a really good title. I mean, it's a bit overused, maybe. Do Not Go Chantel in, into that dark night, or whatever. What is it? What is the exact thing? I don't remember. Mackenzie and Dr. Greenwood are separated after their plane crashes deep in the northern Canadian wilderness. Struggling to survive, Mackenzie explores the small town of Milton, where he begins to understand the scope of this, this quiet apocalypse. Let's go. I'm excited. I hope this is good. It's been a long time in the making, so my expectations are maybe a bit too high. Let's see. Did I ever say the, the name of the game? <laughs> it's the Long Dark. That looks painful. Not oh, tapping it, okay. Ah. It's not even bleeding. It's too cold for that, I guess. Some hurt. Shelter from this wind. Shelter from the wind, sure, sure, sure. That makes sense. Uh, I don't know how how much of the survivor stuff I need to do in this, but I think we should still loot stuff. Come on, do it. There it goes. Bandage will take. We'll take everything. First aid, study your treatments and learn to triage. There are many ways to die in the wilderness. Medical treatments, men made of harvested from men made or harvested from the natural world, will save your life. Use the screen to check on your health, apply a treatment using the first aid radial menu. You can also use treatments from your pack menu. Okay, I don't... yeah, we'll figure things out. Preparation self control are vital to your survival. Check your control menu if you're unsure of how to do something. This could save your life. That is probably a good idea. But for now, we'll just loot all of these things. Cloth and new sprints and sticks. I don't know why there's many newspapers here. I guess we were... Carrying some on the plane. Fire. Fire provides heat, water, food, protection. Use the campfire option in the radial menu. You will need all the fixings. A fire starter, tinder, and fuel. Accelerant speeds up the process. Fuel types impact burn time and heat production. An active fire can be used to cook and boil water as well as keeping you from freezing to death. Sweet. Those are some huge bones. Does it want me to make a fire now? How do I make that? Uh, <laughs> camp craft, fire. Yeah, we have matches and a new sprint and the fire put. That's what we have. 75% success chance. I don't know how hard this is going to be, like I don't know how much survivor there's going to be in this, but it looks like a fair bit, which is fine. I just recently played a little bit, as I said, on stream, so I, 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 I kind of know what to do. 
but yeah, I've never been really good at this game. I've never, I've never invested enough time to know the map and stuff. So I hope that doesn't come into play here, but I don't think it will. Channel updated missions. Okay, let's see. Survivor of the fittest. You've crashed in the northern wilderness and are badly injured. Survive long enough for you, for your hand to heal, so you can climb out. Uh, start fires. You don't freeze to death. You, you have a bleeding wound. Find or make a bandage and use it to stop the blood loss. Sure, sure, sure. Uh, how do I do that again? Uh, first aid bandage. Apply bandage to the right arm. Right arm it was left hand, wasn't it? Even blood on the ground. That's crazy. Okay. The dialogue is really quiet for some reason, but we'll, we'll, we'll make it work, I hope. Yeah, well, you let the fire burn out, so... <laughs> it's gonna be tricky to melt the snow now. Uh, so this is your early warning system when you bring up the quick stats uh, on the radial menu You'll get a preview of your current condition as well as information about how cold, tired, hungry, and thirsty you are Anytime any of these status indicators is empty and red, this means you're losing condition Lose all your condition and you'll die Right, so we need we need food and water All we have is a burned out campfire I might be stuck here a while Better see what I can use Oh, did you miss that stuff, or was that not there? <laughs> That's empty, we already looted that. Uh, no. Uh, yeah, no. Not, not right now. What is that? Oh, those, those are blood drops. Right, right. I should probably just start a fire, because I'm dying. <laughs> I think. Slowly but surely. Uh, where's the condition thing? How do I look at that? Status here, okay. I'm dehydrated and very, very hungry, and it's very, very cold. I still have my injuries. Great. We should just drink something, I guess. That should be our number one priority, I think. We don't have a lot of fuel, which is sort of bad, but. It's gonna be okay, I hope. Come on, come on. So yeah, start a fire, drink some water, and then try and loot the rest of the plane, because there might be some food, and if there isn't, then I don't know. But yeah, water is number one priority right now. Uh, we'll melt one liter of snow. And because we don't want to get sick, we'll boil it. And then we'll go and uh, drink it. We didn't even drink that much. 0.3 liters, it's just like a tall glass. Not even a very big glass. <sighs> Can't have been that thirsty. I don't know. So hungry. Yeah, I know. We'll find something to eat. Looks like debris from the crash site above. Uh, no, we can take that and that. I keep forgetting to hold down. Button to search. Okay, an MRE and some matches, that's good. I guess we'll just eat it. It's a lot of calories, so it should fill us up. Yeah, fill us up. Okay, we need to do something about our cuts. Antiseptic, what a coincidence. <laughs> Book. It's good fuel. Take it, uh, take the cloth as well. And I think that's it for right here. 
I don't know if you want to break down any of this stuff for materials. Bark. I don't even, didn't even know that was an item. We use this tinder. That's good. And we should. I should get back. I don't want to stand out here while I bandage myself. Or yeah, use the antiseptic so we'll go back in the cave. Also, oh, there's a little bit of fire left. Do I have anything I can burn? I can burn a book. Or a stick. Is that a stick? Just to have a little bit of that going. Healer infection risk sweets. And now what do we have? As a branch you cast badly bruised bruised <laughs> and feeling weak. Your hand was wounded during the crash. You will not be able to climb or hold weapons until it heals through rest. Okay. What am I wearing? Uh, it's not terrible, but I'm not wearing a lot. Definitely need some more clothing. And it's not, wait, I don't have anything, right? No. Just the stuff I'm wearing. Okay, resting again, that's good. turning bad. I'm gonna need a good long fire to keep from freezing to death. Well, I don't have any fuel for that though. Need some better fuel and sticks. Yeah, I know it's cold, but there's no you need a fire. I should have looked around yesterday for resting up, I guess. There was no way to know that I would just rest after applying the antiseptic. Ah, this is an issue. Because it's very, very cold. And it's not like... Yeah, I, don't, I have one book. It's just 19 minutes of fire. That's not, not a lot. Uh... I know I step out here, I already start freezing. I can't see anything that looks like fuel. I guess the branches, I can break them down, I believe, and the cardboard boxes, but... Yeah, that's not gonna be good. What does it want me to do today? Do I have a mission? Put a fire in a cave that will last the night. Nine hours? Wow! <laughs> well, I guess I have to go out into the cold. Getting colder. Yeah, yeah, no. Okay, that's some cedar firewood that appeared. I'm pretty sure that wasn't there before. Uh, do we look for more? So cold. Just don't, lay down for a bit. don't lay down for a bit. Don't be stupid. Okay, we can't get away from here. Figured as much. Do I see another cedar firewood? I don't. Just get back inside. Uh, nine hours. That's not gonna last nine hours, though. Is it even worth it to start a fire now if I can't make one that lasts long enough? Because it says one hour six minutes for the cedar firewood. And I have three of those, so that's three hours, 18 minutes, plus 80 minutes of that. It's like four hours something, and that's then, I don't know, maybe five hours, not nine. I need more firewood. So I need you to go back out. Uh, yeah, that, no, that's a waste of time. Hard to see stuff. I don't want to die if I can avoid it. Don't really need the birch stuff right now. Okay, take it. Sticks are kind of good, but not really. Let's 
search this. Uh, the crates, just, yeah, I need to break down one of those. Oh, and uh, yeah, the crates also give me stuff. Right, right, right. I hope I don't freeze here. Let's just say that's enough. I don't know if it is. I definitely need to build a fire now, because I'm very cold. Uh, start fire. Starting with the book, and then we'll put the other stuff in, and hopefully get a fire going that's gonna last long enough. Nine hours is a long time, though. But yeah, it's gonna be fine. I'm sure. <laughs> I'm very confident now. It's gonna be excellent. Fire's life out here. The reclaimed wood does what? 30 minutes or something? That's not long enough. That's a problem. I need to break down more crates. Goddamn freezing. Yeah, no. Nothing in that one. I should have started breaking down the crates day one, I think, but I didn't. I think that's all the crates now, so that's a problem. Uh, can I read that one? I don't know. I have more to it. Right, right. Fire looks good. Now to warm up before I freeze to death. All right, nine hours. That's a lot of wood. Wow. Just warm up. We can do it. How cold are we now? Feels like 37 degrees. That's nice. That's nice and warm. Can, can almost feel it. <laughs> it actually feels like it has 37 degrees in here, to be honest. So I can relate. Should last me through the night. So tired. But now we're running out of everything. I don't think there's much I can do now. Storm would never end. Need to find some food. Food, okay. How am I gonna do that though? I don't think I left much stuff. Crows, your ears are your best survivor too. Pay attention to your surroundings. And you might be information that's important for your survivor. For example, a murder of crows circling up ahead might suggest an animal carcass or even a human corpse might be nearby. Or even a human corpse, that would be great, because I can eat the human corpse. So the crows are up there. Oh, and there's the carcass, I see it already. How amazing is that? Yeah, yeah, we'll find something. How do I get up to it, though? Not sure. Oh, is it, we should also do this. Uh, yeah, we'll do this, too. You can't be completely out of wood again. Uh, I still have a few sticks, right? Rose hips. Don't need these yet. Okay. I'll believe you. <laughs> Even though if I, if I will need them later, then I would like to pick them up right now. Oh, I need to go up this thing. This tree. That was a hell of a storm last night. Blew that tree clean over. Yep. How convenient. <laughs> this would be a good way to learn the game. I would have liked that three years ago. <laughs> Let's just loot this stuff first. What am I doing? A number lock. 913. What do I know about Astrid?
Jackrabbit Remote Transport, Mackenzie speaking. Well, well, slow down, Morgan. What are you talking about? It's okay, Maureen. I've got it from here. Uh... Hello, Will. What are you doing here? It's been a while, I know. Yeah. Years. I haven't heard from you since... I know. I know. And I wouldn't be here if it weren't important. Well... What brings you... I mean... Are you sick? <laughs> no. No, not me. But I need to get to someone who is. Right. So you're still a doctor? Yes, I'm still a doctor. I thought that after... <laughs> Why are you here? I need your help. There's an isolated community in the northern part of Great Bear. Someone there is very sick. Great Bear? There's nothing there anymore. Not since... I know. But I have to get there. Still trying to save the world, huh? Somebody has to. What's that supposed to mean? Mackenzie... Uh, Will... I didn't come here to fight about the past. I need a pilot to take me somewhere remote. Someone who won't ask too many questions. Someone I can trust. Wait, questions? Astrid, are you in trouble? Are you gonna help me, or not? What's in the case? See, there's that thing about no questions, remember? What's in the case, Astrid? No questions. Look, the weather out there is bad. Bad, when it's getting worse. You walk in here after years. I could have been dead. You could have been. And then you show up and you want me to just risk my life flying into the middle of the great northern nowhere to deliver you and some mystery metal case to some remote wilderness outpost. All because you walked in here and asked me to? Yes. Astrid, you can't bring him back. This isn't about that. I know how hard it's been. No. You don't know, Mackenzie. You don't know anything. You don't think I feel it too? Are you gonna take me or not? The longer I wait, the worse it'll get. Damn it. Look, I don't have time for this. Wait. The worse what will get? Why do I have a feeling you're not talking about the weather? Because I'm not. Throw your bags in the plane. I'll get started on pre-flight. Better buckle up tight, because it's going to be a rough ride. Oh yeah, it was a rough ride. What happened? Where did she end up? Whatever's in this case, Astrid was ready to die for it. I hope she hasn't already done it. I need to... I don't know why. Let's do that. Maybe that's better. I can search that pack. Well, whatever. Yes, we need that coat for sure. And that firewood. Could probably climb that. Can I bought that? Yeah, maybe. Not with your hand issue though, right? Why can't I not take that pack pack? I want it. This carcass could save my life. This doesn't look too good, but what choice do I have? Uh, how long does it take? 15 minutes, 30 minutes, 45 minutes. That's two, 1.5 kilograms. That's a lot of meat. Damn, I'm freezing. Yeah, that's why I didn't want to take too much, but at the same time, while we're here, right? Raw meat, everything you eat can kill you. I'm starving you may feel desperate enough to take a chance, but in 
chances, but in general, eating raw meat is a bad idea. Cook it over fire to avoid getting food poisoning or parasites. Cooked meats also cooked meat also lasts longer and attracts fewer predators. Okay. Good. Or not good, but you know. Good enough. We need a fire. We need to drink and eat. Come on, get up there. Okay. Not being able to jump is annoying. <laughs> it's always been annoying. I really like the art style. The art style of this game. Like, even the characters look really weird. But they look really cool at the same time, and the uh, environments are just gorgeous. It's a really, really good looking game. Uh, sure. Why am I burning that book now? Maybe it might might have been a book I could have read, but I'm too lazy to Come on. Come on. start over. There we go. It worked. Of course it did, why wouldn't it? Uh, let's put some more fuel in. Uh, let's melt some... I still have water, I should have been drinking that already. I forgot that I had water. <laughs> Not as much as I had before, so some of it disappeared. Uh, let's cook that venison. And eat it before we uh, die. That did not fill up, fill us up a lot, did it? Let's cook that. That was half of what I had. Did I not take what one and a half kilograms? That's a lot of meat. I guess I was so hungry that I didn't really... I don't know, I thought I would have enough to last me a while, but I didn't. I have to go back for more meat now to fill us up all the way. Uh, I can just purify it. Is that fast, actually? No, but I could have done it without a fire, so that's a waste. that instead. Alright, so we have that. Do we just keep that fire going now? Wait, what's my mission? What do I need to achieve? See if you're strong enough to climb out of the ravine. Explore the ravine. You need food to survive. So just scavenge what you can and eat until you're four. A little, I'm four. That's a long time. Uh, well, like I don't know how much time passes here. I feel like it's smart to do this, but it might be wrong. So we'll keep one piece of fuel on us. That might be a mistake. I have to try to climb out, and I need to explore, whatever that means. I feel like I've been everywhere, but apparently not. How do I... there. Yeah, bad idea. Spray, sprained my ankle. Rose hips. Mother Nature's painkiller. Sometimes Mother Nature is your pharmacist. Craft rose hips into a preparation that can be boiled in water to produce a tea with pain relieving properties. Keep your eyes open for other natural remedies. Sure. Yeah, I'll be running out of fire though again. Ah. Take everything. It's like an hour though, it's too long. I can't wait that long. Half an hour. I might still have a fire fire after that. So we have one kilogram left. It's not a lot. 
Take a stick. There you go. Also, did I? I never put on. <laughs> that thing did I? The coats. Wear it. There we go. So cold. I just put on the coat. Don't don't be a baby. I forgot about that coat. I can't sprint now. Everything is so slow. I swear, after the fire goes out, <laughs> I'm gonna be mad. Okay, there's still the time left. Sweet, cook it. Kind of hungry, kind of thirsty. Just a little tired. It's still kind of cold, but that's okay. Uh, how do I make the... That's my crafting thing. How does that work again? Prepared rose hips. Okay. Uh, I need more rose hips. Really? <laughs> nah, it's so dumb. Okay. I'm down here, right? Or did I imagine that? Do I need to go up again? I thought I harvested them more. Guess not. Right here. Eight, so that's enough. That's 24. Let's actually just do that. Begin crafting. I should not be out in the cold to do this. That's stupid. I'm, I'm playing this really dumb. Uh. Now I can make the tea to ease my pain. I can eat some venison and it's not going to be enough to make me four. And I'll have to go back up and get more. Can't feel my hands. I should have gotten it all the first time around, I think. But I was already starving at that point. That was why I didn't. Or it felt like one and a half kilograms would be a lot. I guess it wasn't. Uh, cook. Is the fire going to go out before I'm finished? That would be stupid. No, it's still going. I don't know. It's, I don't know. Do that real quick. Let's see. Uh, all right. Drink the tea. And I guess eat. That's, that's going to be enough to fill me up. I hope it is. May as well rest up. Enough, I guess. Telling what tomorrow will bring. And I guess that's where we end this first episode of chapter one of the story mode of the long dark. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you soon for day five. Bye bye.